Well, class, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. How are Hi. you? I'm fine. And you? How are you? Fine. Thank you. All right. How was your day today? Very busy. Why? <laughs> because many people is in at school because COVID. Yeah. And and it's different, uh, more work for everybody. That's true. That's very true. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. All right. Hi, Mirna. How are you? Hi. I'm are good. You? I'm tired. I thought you're crying. Emma, why are you crying? I don't know. No, I have a espinilla. I don't know how to say that. Pimple. Pimple. Yeah. Se escribe pimple. Pimple. <laughs> I hate pimple. Pop it. Pop it. No, that's bad. Oh, man. I, I remember I love popping pimples. <laughs> it's that it's at the satisfy. Yeah. Have you seen have you seen in YouTube some videos of some very ugly pimples? No. But oh, in man. Instagram, yeah, like people that No, but there's this man, he had a pimple on his back. Oh. And I promise you, it was like maybe the size of my of my fist. Maybe it's hated. No, and they popped it like, oh man, it was so nasty. You can't you the, the the video is you can't finish the video because it's very very nasty. Nasty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hello, Francisco in Orlando. Hello, teacher. Why are you almost suit? Oh, because I just came from. Um, I I just came home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you work in a lot of places. Yes, yes, I do. Ah, okay. I work with a company in the United States. It's a real estate company. Okay. Do you know what is real estate? Uh, I don't know. I know that it's like a company who sells uh, houses. Yes. Yes, Everything I, they sell, they buy. My, they, my sister uh, uh, work in that in the in Boston. Oh yeah. Uh, her I cuñada. Her, her sister in law. Her sister what? Sister in law. Her sister in law uh, has one. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Man, they make good money. Yeah. <laughs> they make good money. But you yeah. know, one thing, one good thing about is uh, United States, and I think, I think El Salvador should copy this, is that in the United States, you need to have a license for everything. Yes. They have it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that's, and that's why, because it's like, like, let me give you an example. My wife, my wife, she's a dentist. And uh, in the clinic, there are three, three dentists. And they have an assistant. Mm. This woman has been their assistant maybe for 10 years. Yes. And um, do you know the difference between college and university in the United States? What? Sorry. College, college and university. Do you know the difference? Oh, I actually, I don't know. I think that college is the same, but. Mm. Caleda, do you know? Similar. Yes, yes. Uh, the college, when you terminas the college, you start the college, like it was a bachelor's. And then the university. 
Mm. No, college is superior. College is yeah, because high, high school is machete. Yes. Like for example, if, if you uh, make uh, after college, you think uh, like another grade. That's, that's okay, no. okay. Yes, college is three years. Mm -hmm. And university is five or more. Mm -hmm. It depends on the career. Yes. So what happened is that the assistant, my wife's assistant, she heard that in the United States, a dentist assistant makes from 20 to $25 an hour. <laughs> so this lady, she is obsessed that she wants to go to the United States. Está ahorrando dinero para un coyote, imagine that. <laughs> because she wants to work as a dental assistant in the United States. And I tell her, Esther, um, you can't. You need to have a license. So no, no, no. But I've been doing this 10 years. No. And speaking very well, very, very well English. Yeah. Yeah, but really to be a dentist assistant, you don't really need to speak because you don't speak. All you do is next, give me, give me. <laughs> but but yes, but of course English is important. But what I'm telling you is that um I tell her no, it doesn't work like that. You can't go to the United States and go to every dentist. Hi, do you need an assistant? I am an assistant. <laughs> the dentist can say, Really good. Do you have your diploma? Do you have your license? Yeah. No, but I have experience. Sorry. So that's what I'm saying, like about a realtor. Uh, people that sell houses in the United States, you need to have a license. If not, you cannot sell houses. And in El Salvador, that's why there's a lot of competition. Because like, for yeah. example, to be an English teacher in some institutes, you just need to speak English and you're a teacher. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but like, for example, um, in Safort, you have to, you have to uh, do certain classes. And if, if I can go back in my past, or maybe for you, Mirna, if you plan to go, do you plan to live in the United States someday? No, I don't know. <laughs> what, I, what I really, really recommend, because people tell me what I really would recommend is to be a translator, pero en... Cortes. Mm. Because, for example, when you go in the United States and the corte, in the, el juez, the judge, says, Kalena, um, do you speak English? No, I need an mm -hmm. assistant. Okay. And then they call you. And then they call you. This person will charge maybe $200 an hour or the moment. Mm -hmm. So imagine That's this. Awesome. Yeah, Yes, this person comes, but it's, it's really difficult. Really, really translating is difficult. I did, I did translating for, for some months and it's, it's because it has to be very technical. Soy el juez. Hola, yo soy su intérprete de hoy. Mi nombre es... And, and I really have to interpret everything. And sometimes it just says, ¿Sabe por qué está aquí? Uh, do you know why you're here? ¿Sabe por qué está aquí? Sí, sí, she said yes. Entonces, va a pagar la multa? Uh, is she going to pay? Va a pagar la multa? Sí, she said yes. Okay, good. Next, ya me gané 200 bolas. <laughs> but sometimes it's, it's even more difficult cuando sale una peleonera. No, es que dígale, no fue mi culpa. Yo iba caminando. And that's when it gets difficult. <laughs> okay, um, the lady stated that she was walking. About, but anyways, I get paid $200 an hour. They make good money, but you need to have a license to do that. You can speak French, German, English, and Spanish perfectly, but if you don't have a license, you cannot work like that. That's what I tell my, my wife's assistant. But she says, no, okay, tiene una amiga que eso se allá y no sé, okay, great. Good luck. But, but the, the, to get that license. 
Excuse me? In, in college. Do you think uh, that, that she is, uh, her assistant could study a course or? No, I, yes, she has to. O maybe, uh, no sé, aquí se llama incorporación. Cuando estudias fuera, se incorpora la gente. Maybe yes. Incorporate. Yes, oh. but the, the problem is that she's like 50 now. She's 50 something. Oh. And um, yeah, she's not young. She's not young anymore. So I don't know. And <laughs> Your she face. Doesn't, no, and she, she doesn't speak English. So it's going to be very it difficult. It will be for her. difficult for her, yes. So I for tell her. It's just a dream. Yeah, I tell her, stay, yeah. stay, just stay here. You have a job here. Yeah. Because, yeah. because my sister started marketing. Yes. And, and, and when he go to the United States to use her, it's like you're not uh, a professional, yeah. No, but you're that that's, that's, and that's good. I think that's good because imagine in El Salvador, you can be a doctor with, I don't know, $10 a month. If you, if you study in a, in a national, right? And then, hey, I'm a doctor and you can go to the United States and say, hey, I want a job and they give you a job and you make millions. That's not fair for the people that paid in the United States $100,000 a year to become a doctor. Because then everybody would study in El Salvador and go work in the United States. So yes, there has to be an equivalency. But anyways, that, that's, that's what I'm telling you. The difference between college and university is that, that you have, to, you have to have a license for everything. For everything. Yes, not like in El Salvador. Like, vienes y raíces, ah, no voy a meter en ese negocio. What do you do? Oh, yo vendo carros, vendo casas, I do everything. Okay, good. But in the United States, it's illegal. You cannot do that. And you need to pass exams and blah, blah. You have to learn the laws of, depends on the, uh, of the state where you're selling. But that's why they make very good money. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. No, it's true. They make good money. No. So, uh -huh. so they, you, if you, if you have a college career, you can, you can live nice. If you have a university career, the difference between college and university is that university is extremely expensive. And some people really can't pay that. So then they prefer to, to study. Like if you want to be a dentist, dentistry is very expensive in the United States. And maybe your mom and dad, they can't pay that. So ni modo, I will be a dentist assistant. And it's still gonna be good money. Por eso es que cobran caro. <laughs> Amen, yeah. It's sad. All right. So, so if your sister, your sister, if she's a real estate agent, if she has her license, oh, yes. man, be very good to your sister because. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants, she wants to be um, a broker. I like work. I work with brokers. Yes. Yeah, like he, like I don't know what the different, but it's like uh, another level. Yes. It's like Bro you. A, 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 a broker is the person in the middle. Oh uh, yeah. Like you want to buy a house, and this is the bank. I am the broker. Oh. I, I will. Don't worry, Milna. I will get you that money, and I will speak with all the banks, and I will do all that work. Maybe not this bank. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Here, Marina. Here, I have these options for you. Boom, 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 boom. And I will make your life easier. That's what a broker does. And they make easy commissions. <laughs> it's interesting. But uh, you, you working uh, from here? Yes. Uh, okay. I work with brokers, and I learn a lot about that too. Um. I take their applications. I ask them all the questions. So when I call my boss, I make his life easy. Oh, but yeah. they're, for they're you, fair. for you is is no for them because I, I do all the I take down all the information. Everything they will they need mm. to know, I do that. And I say, okay, look, boss, here, this person is this and this and this and this and that and that and that. So. Uh. 
Yes. He received okay, a Maylin. lot of money. <laughs> yes. But they're very nice people because when they receive a lot of money, they give me a lot of money too. Not a lot of money, but like they send me a, like last time they sent me $200 gift card, uh, like a debit card. Gift. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cool. Work for gringos, man. They're good. Yeah. All right. So anything new? David Hernandez, hey, David Hernandez what time is the game tomorrow? Eight at six. No, eight. Really? At eight? Yes. Oh, man. We're not going to be able to watch it. No. We won't be able to. <laughs> All right. You guys be careful tomorrow because everybody's going to be in the class. But I remember last time when the selecta was hot, I remember that I was at class because everybody was like this. <laughs> everybody was watching the game and not, not the class. <laughs> All right. Let me find the the lesson so remember what did we practice yesterday la selecta is playing tomorrow past models past models right come on open Okay, let me see. Hey, my computer. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. My my email froze. Hmm. All right. So let me open, 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 open. Come on, open, 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 open. All right, let me share the screen with you. Past modals. Do you see the screen? Yes. Okay, so do you remember what is the difference between almost and it's not possible? I'm sorry, Ash. What is the difference between almost and couldn't have and couldn't in past models? That couldn't is when it it's not possible yes couldn't is something that is not possible like um, imagine they say they say uh, imagine yesterday Orlando are you married sorry are you married yeah of course Imagine somebody tells your wife, oh, I saw Orlando yesterday. He was eating dinner with another woman. Really? Yes. <laughs> Where? In McDonald's. What time? At eight. Then you said that's that couldn't that couldn't have been Orlando. Why not? Yes, it was him. I saw him. It couldn't have been Orlando. Why? Because he was in the house receiving classes. Yes. <laughs> so, but you see, your wife was defending you because she said that's not possible. She was very sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. She must, she must, she must secure it. She must yes. secure it. Pero but, la vieja chambrosa, she said, it must have been Orlando. I saw him. 
<laughs> and he saw the me. Neighbor. And he <laughs> yeah, and he pretended he didn't see me. It must have been Orlando. And your wife says, no, it couldn't have been Orlando because he was here yesterday. He was here next to me in the computer. <laughs> like, ooh. All right. Y como no pierde la vieja chambrosa, she says, he might have skated for 10 minutes and you didn't see him. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see. Let's do the next. Instructions. Read each situation and choose the best explanation. Jane is in a terrible mood today. What Do you know what mood is? Um, yeah. Uh, mood. <laughs> it's like feelings. When the humor. It's like a feeling, right? Yes. Uh, David Hernandez, yeah. is it possible if you can lower the volume a little, please? Sorry. Are you watching TV? Uh, no. Oh, somebody's watching a, a soccer game or something, but. Okay, thank you. Yeah, David Hernandez, you were in yellow. Don't lie. <laughs> no joke. Okay, yes. Mood is the state you are in. I am in a good mood. Like, don't talk to me. I am in a bad mood. You know, sometimes women, once a month, they are in a bad mood. Come like, oh. Hey, and women, don't worry. Men, we have that too. But just not that dramatical like women. So, um, también puedo decir, like, hey, I am in a mood for a lemon minuta. Did you hear that expression? I am in the mood for. Yes. Mood is when you feel like something. Es un estado, yes. It's a state. Like sometimes some people like, don't talk to me. Like, okay, excuse me. <laughs> that person is in a bad mood. Or sometimes, you know, somebody's very happy, like, hi, hi, like, man, that person is in a good mood today. Or sometimes you, you say, ah, oh, man, it's hot, it's hot. I am in a mood for a lemon minuta. I am in a mood for green mangoes with salt and I waste it and they crack. Mm. Okay. So, Jane is in a terrible mood today. What do you think? He may have gotten a raise. Well. No, that would be a good mood, right? If you get a, do you know what a raise is? She could have. Aumento. Yes. So, this is wrong for two reasons. Because when you get a raise, it's good. And number two, Jane is a girl, not it's a female. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So definitely it's not this. So Jane is in a terrible mood today. She must not have gotten enough sleep. That's a possibility, no? Yeah. He might or not have done. She could have. She had could a fight. have. She she could have, have had a fight, fight with her boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> That's the answer. Notice how only women say said that. Only women responded that. You see, men, other men would say, she must not have gotten enough sleep. Yes. <laughs> so remember, so when a woman is in a bad mood, they fought <laughs> with the boyfriend, man. Okay, next it says, Brian got a call and looked worried. What do you think? Happened to Brian. He may have gotten a raise. He may he may not have done his work time. Okay, he may not have done his work on time. Uh, he couldn't he have couldn't heard have good news. Heard I good think. News. Okay, yes, he couldn't yeah. have heard good news. Mm -hmm. You're very positive because 
he looked worried. Mm -hmm. So imagine if I go to a meeting and I come mm -hmm. out like this. <laughs> You're fired. Uh -huh. You know, like, and everybody's, hey, what happened? <laughs> so what happened? I don't know, but it, it couldn't have been good news. Why? He's crying. <laughs> The teacher looks very handsome today. I'm sorry, looks very happy today. He may have done may have already. Done already. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, no. But, I mean, the, <laughs> grammatically is correct, the answer. But the real truth, the real world is no. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Uh, she must, she must not get it. Nah, no, she have must gotten have enough gotten sleep. She must, must have gotten enough sleep. Gotten enough sleep. Has, have you ever been like that? That really you yeah. can't keep your eyes open? Yes. Yeah. Jeff was fired from his job. He might not have done his work on time. My cousin is short of money again. She must have spent too much last month. Good. When you say I'm short, it's like, no, my cancer. It's like, so, hey, yo voy a pagar, I'll pay the pupusas. How much is the pupusas? Six dollars. Like, oh, oh man. I, I only have 550. So you tell somebody, hey, can you give me 50 cents? I'm short of money. All right. Hey, can you help me? I'm short of money. Yeah, no problem. How much money do you need? A thousand dollars? No, man, I can give you one dollar. <laughs> All right, let's look at this. By the end of this session, participants will have We'll have the use of past models for giving opinions. We'll have learned the past models of giving opinions or real or hypothetical past events. Ooh. Hypothetical past events. Hi, welcome. We will Can you now hear? start. Yes. Okay. Study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation to send emails. Molly, Molly will give you two sentences. 
When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. Okay, opinions, should have or shouldn't have. Okay. Um, Kalena. Yes. What do you think about Why do you think, let me see. Do you like history? Yes, I do. Why do you think um, Napoleon Bonaparte mm. lost? It was good because I think he was a little bit crazy. No, but he conquered everything. He conquered everything he wanted. But what happened at the end? What do you think? Mm. It, it was too ambitious. Yes. He shouldn't have been. He, he shouldn't have been too ambitious. Exactly, yes. It's like, remember Alexander Magnum? Mm -hmm. He conquered all of Europe except in India mm -hmm. because India, they had elephants and he had horses and they told him, don't go to India because they have elephants. So he okay. shouldn't have gone yeah. to India. Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. was that all the day was in history, everything happens like Hitler. Hitler was doing good. Was, his objective was, but what happened? He shouldn't have. He shouldn't have crossed the line. Cuando empezó a invadir otros countries. All right. It's like a, oh okay. Let me give you a perfect example. Uh, I think Tony Saka. Tony Saka, I don't know. Is he stole millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. And he decided to stay in El Salvador. And he had all these companies and beautiful houses in El Salvador. It's like, come on, really, man? You think people are not going to realize? So he shouldn't have stayed in El Salvador. He should have taken the money and go to Suiza or something. You see, that's when you give it like an opinion. Yes. Let me see, Orlando. Did you watch Titanic? Uh, yes, but... It's not my piece of cake. <laughs> uh, but, but you watched it. Yeah, it was. Do you think at the end, Jack should have survived and not Rose? <laughs> uh, he shouldn't. He shouldn't have saved. A rose, right? Yeah. Yeah, he shouldn't have saved her. He should have survived by himself. No, <laughs> All right, good. So you understand when you give an opinion, right? If you notice we're giving shouldn't have, shouldn't have, we could also give should have. Yes. yes. It's like, man... You should have bought that car because it was a very nice car and you didn't buy it. What car? I don't know, that Kia. But you should have bought it because it's a good car. It's an opinion. Um, David Hernandez, I remember 10 years ago 10 years ago, the Bitcoin was $60. Yes. Yes, when the 
when the the Bitcoin start. Yes. Uh huh. So, what do you think is the regret? Uh, maybe, maybe many people uh, have should a... have bought. Uh huh. Okay, no, this is an expression because how much is the Bitcoin now? One Bitcoin is like forty thousand dollars. Yeah, 38,000. 38, wow, 38,000. So imagine people say, what? 10 years ago, it was $40? Oh my God, I should have bought $1,000 of Bitcoins 10 years ago. I would be a millionaire now. You see, it's like, it's like an opinion. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Sonia, hi. Hi, teacher. All right. How are you today? I'm good. And you? I am good too. Thank you. Um, do you understand the difference between should have and shouldn't have? The different of giving opinions should have and shouldn't have should have is when I have to do. No, I mean it's 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 when you give an opinion in the past. Yes. Yes. Can you give me an example of? Something that happened to you in your life that you didn't do, but you should have done it. Um, maybe. I sure, I sure have studied more or learn more English? More English, hey, good, that's a good example, yeah. Man, I should have studied more English when I was in the university, when I was in, when I was younger, good. It's possible shouldn't have uh, speaking English without grammatical. <laughs> yeah, okay, too. Um, when I was, this is a true story. When I was younger, when I was 20, I was very bad. I was bad a very- Bad feeling or bad? I was a bad, bad person. Speech. I was a- wow. No, I mean, but I wasn't like a bad person, like a Marero, no. <laughs> I was a, I was, um, I was like a, I had many girlfriends. <laughs> Two, yes. four. In one time, yeah, like, and um, no, it's, and I heard, I heard many girls, many girlfriends, because they really love me, and yeah, but you play. I yes, I, I played with them, and I shouldn't have done that. Now that I am older, to. yeah. Now that I am older, I really, I really wish. I shouldn't have done that because it was very bad of what I did. And um, to some, you know, because of good of Facebook, I have the contacted. Most to any. Yeah. So now I know what I what to do with my son. Mm -hmm. I want my son to be a good boy, a good man. <laughs> so I'm going to tell him, son, you shouldn't. You right. shouldn't <laughs> yes, you shouldn't be a liar. You shouldn't be bad to girls. Only have one girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, do, do, let me see. Mirna. Hello. Mirna, have you ever drunk a beer? Yes. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Why? Because you're 17. <laughs> 
It's but illegal. Maybe with my sister. Your sister <laughs> shouldn't have done that to you. But no, I'm joking. No, but I, I imagine. No, but because you were 17, I said that. So it was, it was just an example. Mm -hmm. But you know, I said, you shouldn't have. Why? Because you're 18. You're always oh, like a meat. One time I ate. What do you call that? Ostra, ostia, whatever thing in church? Ostia. Ostia. Eso. One time I ate that. And I didn't know that you have to be baptized or confirmed or, or something. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. And, and <laughs> Primera Comunión. Yes, I didn't know that. So I just made the line and um, <laughs> thank you. And then this lady. The I'm hungry. <laughs> Kalena, you are in mute. Yes, yes, I knew. I knew that I'm in mute, but why, why you did that? Yeah, I didn't know that. But, uh, oh. why you make a line, and why? What do you think you 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 will get there? Because I told you when I was twenty, I was a bad boy, and I went to ah. church because I liked the girl. Que lo hizo por pícaro por. Quedar bien con la novia. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes okay. Because, so I and, and this lady, she saw me. She said, "Did you do your first communion?" Said, no. <gasps> you shouldn't have eaten that ostia. Why? Because you have to. And I said, "Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know that." Thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a big deal. When I got married. I did everything in one day. I did communion, baptism, Confirm. co confirmation, affirm. I don't know. I did everything, man. It was a horrible day. It was a very long day. You married from church. Yeah. But Why? Did Why, man? <laughs> because of my wife and, and my mother and, and, and my mother-in-law. But did oh. you get that girl or you are with another one? No, 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 no. That when I ate the ostia, <laughs> it was a long time ago. But when I when I got married with my wife, yes, I, I had to I had to do all that. And drink uh, uh, wine, right? Yes. But you but know you what? I, I, I told you. No. Okay. I'm nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And, um, but you know, for respect for my wife, I did it. But now, I see me con mi la hostia. I remember, but oh, and now I can. <laughs> so I ate it. <laughs> the sin. <laughs> All right. But you see, you saw Kalena's reaction too. Like, oh, why did you eat that? You shouldn't have. Yes, it's true. That's a perfect example because she gave me her opinion. You shouldn't have eaten that because, um, you know where I broke. I'm not Catholic, and um, that's a sin. Maybe it's a sin for us. Yes. Yes, it's a sin. Okay, but <laughs> now I know. Now I know. <laughs> All right. So you understand should have and shouldn't have. Yes. So one important thing. This happened. Yeah, Paso. <laughs> yes. There is no going back. It's like when tu amiga, tu hermana, or someone says, hey, I'm pregnant. <gasps> you should have. <laughs> yeah, you should have used, or I don't know, injection <laughs> pill or something. I oh, know, I'm sorry, yes, I you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should have, yes, or like, oh man, you should have called me. Yes. All right, okay. Or negative, you shouldn't have. It's like imagine, and sometimes there's like a legal consequence. Imagine when a, when a man hits a woman, I don't know, a husband hits a, a, a wife. The police says, you hit her? Yes, but it was a defense. Okay, you shouldn't have hit her. Why? <laughs> because you're going to jail now. Yeah. 
So there's no excuse. Maybe your wife is toxic, crazy, whatever. You but shouldn't. you shouldn't have hit her. All right. So that's giving opinions. Let's see what's next. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your Molly shouldn't have kept your Molly. Molly is giving an opinion to send emails. Michi is giving the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's do giving advice, but in present. So let's ignore right now. Let's ignore have sent, have. Let's do present. This is how you give advice. Um, let me see, let me give you, let me give you an example, like an everyday example. Oh, okay, I, I tell my wife. Sometimes my wife, well, yeah, no less it, but I remember a few years ago, she she um she always had one girls night out. Girls night out. Do you understand what girls night out is? Yes. Yeah. So it was like three, four girls, I don't know. And they go to a, a cafe, a restaurant or a bar, whatever. And I tell my wife, you know what? El Salvador is a very um, macho country. There's a lot of, you know, men we cannot see. Oh my God, there's four girls alone drinking. That's something perfectly normal, but in El Salvador it's not. I don't know why. It's stupid. Sometimes men, we are not. So I tell my wife, be careful if anybody invites you to a drink. I wouldn't accept that drink. Do you understand my expression here? Yes. So imagine my wife is going to go out with Nuri, Kalena, Sonia, and Mirna. Malin. And I said, okay, look, girls, because this country, men cannot see women alone and drinking. We, yeah, like, oh my God, oh my God. Yes. So it's very, there's a big probability that the, the waiter, Bavenir, hello, ladies, uh, these beers are from the gentleman in that table. Yes, I wouldn't accept it. Why? Because those gentlemen, five, 20, 25 minutes later, they will come. Like, hi, no podemos sentar. <laughs> so my recommendation is I wouldn't accept those drinks. Do you understand? You see, I'm speaking present time. I'm not telling you directly. I'm not saying, Kalena, don't accept it. It's an advice. I'm just saying, I wouldn't accept it. Yes? Yes. All right. Now, you who can give me an example or invent a situation? Me? Okay, go. I don't know if I, if I understand. Uh, if you are afraid of COVID-19, you could uh, get the vaccine. You, you will, you will have the vaccine. No. Yeah, I see where you, okay. No. <laughs> okay, no, 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 good. I see your point. You can tell me, okay, you are afraid of COVID-19, but uh -huh. you have not, not got the vaccine. The vaccine. Uh -huh. I would get the vaccine. <laughs> 
Ah, I always you have to know yes. more. Uh -huh. Use yourself wow. as an example. Uh, okay, so I will have the vaccine. Oh, I. Yeah, I would get the vaccine. I will get the vaccine. Sorry, I... it's like it's like in Spanish, como yo yo tomaría eso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Siempre se habla de uno, no, 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 no de ellos. Uh -huh. El advice no es tú, sino que. Uh -huh. lo... It's like what I told my, my wife and her friends. You know, I uh -huh. wouldn't accept it. I wouldn't okay. accept those beers or those drinks. Uh -huh. okay. Because, and because, and when you say I wouldn't, it's like you're saying there will be a consequence. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Um, it's true, you know, like. <clears throat> Uh, right now, El Salvador is getting contaminated with Omicron, COVID, Alacran, uh, with everything, right? So um, I wouldn't go out unless it's necessary. Yes? Yes. Mirna, I wouldn't, uh, yes. Go ahead, Orlando, I, please. I wouldn't visit crowd, crowds places. Crowded places, exactly. Hey, that's good. Yes. Hey, I wouldn't visit crowded places. Imagine you're a tourist. Hey, Salvadorian tourist, right? No han venido al país en 40 años. Oh, my God. Mira la final, FAS, Alianza. Nice. Vamos al estadio. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't go to the stadium when Alianza plays. <laughs> <laughs> or FAS. Especially Alianza FAS versus FAS. I wouldn't go. Why? Es un partido. No, the game is not the problem. The gamers. The the fans, yes. <laughs> yes. So I tell I tell them, hey, hey, look, I wouldn't go to an Alianza fast game. For example, one thing I would never do, I would never go on a cruise. Why is that? Those cruises, you know, like when you go in the ocean. In those, yeah, un crucero. Oh. I would never go on a cruise. Why? Because really, a cruise is a big hotel, but it's a hotel in the water. <laughs> yeah, but it's beautiful. Yeah, uh, yes, but you know, I mean, there's swimming pools, there's casinos, there's discotheques, it's a big hotel. Imagine, but you're in the middle of the ocean. You are literally, you, you don't see like, oh my God, what? I could do that. I could do in the cruise and, and land. No, but maybe because I am afraid. <laughs> but yeah. I, yeah. But also, I would never do that because I am I am a big chicken. Thalassophobia, <laughs> I think that's me. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Oh, I have many phobias. I have, I have this very ridiculous phobia, man. It's called tripophobia. Do you know that? I have it too, teacher. <laughs> you have it? Yes. yes. Oh man, I hate that phobia. But it's it's very difficult to explain, right? Yes, it's like when you, you see a lot of holes. Adult theme. Yes, like dots. Yes, dots. you know, you get like oh. I, but you love uh, to to push the the uh, pop pops the pimples. Yeah, and but you see videos of that. <laughs> no, but triple phobia is, is when you it's, see it's different. it's different. Yes, it's different. It's I don't know how to explain. It's like it's it's ugly, man. They have to Google it, teacher, to, to, to see. Yeah, Google tripophobia, man, and you will see. Later, yeah. There are I hate a that. lot of holes, like mini holes. 
on your uh, skin. skin a that, lot of holes. Yes, but the holes they don't have patterns. That's the problem. Yeah. Mm. Like like uh like the where like when if you open an anona mm -hmm. and you see that like oh you I get I get triple phobia. Some of my son's toys they have that. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a pattern, right? It's like a pattern of thing, but yes, it's it's some holes that don't have a pattern. They're just like, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to Like explain. a hive, like from bees. Yes, like beehive. Mm -hmm. You know what, Mirna? Maybe I can get tripophobia if they do like an extra zoom on the holes that we have. Like if, yeah. you know, and you see all the holes, but like holes a really, is... really zoom. Oils. Uh, Pores. Poros, yeah. Yes, pores. Thank you. If you had like a micro zoom and you see all the pores, oh, that's triple phobia. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So let's continue with the advice. <clears throat> hey, man, I'm going to imagine, okay, this, I'm, I'm going to have a situation. This is not real. So, uh, Sony, oh, no, let me see, let me see, let me see. David. Hello, David. Hello. Hi, you know what? This weekend, um, I'm going to go visit my friend because my friend is sick. And um, he lives in La Campanera. So I've never been there. So hi, mama. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? I wouldn't have a... No let's, speak, La no, let's speak present time. Present. I wouldn't go. I uh -huh. wouldn't go to the Campanera. Why not? But my friend, I mean, <laughs> he's a very good friend of mine. He's sick. Because the people there is a little untrust, untrustable. They're going to disappear there. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nuri. Me convenció más Nuri que David because he says they're a little untrustable. No, you have to say, man, I wouldn't go to La Campanera. Why? Because maybe it's one of the most dangerous places dangerous. in the country. <laughs> yes. So have you seen La Vida someone. Loca? No. Yes. Wow. That's La Campanera. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> Yes. All right, let me see. Rafael. Hey, teacher. I need to buy a TV, man. But I don't know what TV to buy because I don't know. But I just want a nice TV, a good, good TV. What? Which TV oh, do you recommend? I will recommend you, teacher, to buy a I would LV. buy. I would buy. I will buy. Uh, LG TV is an LG reliable. Oh, really? They're good. Yeah, I heard that they're very they're good. good. Yes. Oh, okay, they good. 4K and and 65 inches. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? If you have a if you have a 4K TV, I would recommend you to have minimum 20 megas of internet. Is a good tip. Yes, because <laughs> people don't understand that the, the better the resolution of your TV is, the more <laughs> internet is pulling. You don't yes. if you don't have that that the speed you will see us you're watching TCS. <laughs> yes, it's true. I had a friend that he was very angry. Because man, stupid TV. No, the TV is good. You have five megabytes of internet, and you buy a, and you bought a. Um, before before 4K, what was it? Ultra HD, right? Something. Like UHD. That. Uh huh. Yeah. UHD. Uh huh. UHD, and said, okay, but you see, the TV is not the problem. It's your internet. How is the internet going to be the problem? Because. <laughs> 
when you're pulling, when it's streaming, you know, you have to explain the process to them. So if you're going to have, if you're going to get a nice 4K or QTV TV now, I would have very, very good internet. All right, cool. Let me see. Malin, are you there? Are you still working? Yes, I am still working, but I listen. Malin, um, I am in a diet, but oh man, I need pupusas. I know they're bad, but maybe two, maybe two. Which pupusas would you would you recommend? I would say three pupusas. No, but you know, you, you could say, yeah, okay. Um, if you're going to eat pupusas, I would eat corn pupusas, not rice. Why? Because you said, I mean, I liked it too, but you said you're in a diet and corn pupusas are a little more healthy than the corn, than the rice pupusas, correct? Malin. Yes. Chinese people is so uh, smart. And they, they used to eat rice. What? They used to eat a rice. Oh, yes, it's true. Mm. Malin, um, I don't know what to buy my wife for Valentine's Day a Nintendo Switch or a purse? I think you buy. Or I would have, buy her. I will buy um, Michael Kors. The Nintendo course. Switch? Thank you. Oh, Michael Kors. Course. And inside, put the Nintendo Switch. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I saw a Michael Kors in, in the Lula Ula for, for $10. The, the, the original Michael Kors <laughs> course, I think it's better what's the difference she will not notice so you know what yes she will <laughs> okay good so yeah that, that was a good example hey i would buy it's like women let me give you an advice okay when you don't know what to give a man Please stop buying us ties and wallets. That's all we receive. <laughs> Buy us something different. Yes, but, but it's very difficult to give a gift for a man. It, it's always the same thing. A, a, a teacher. Uh, a tie. Um, or a wallet, uh, or a cold uh, spray. Oh, uh huh. A There's clock. Something. Well, it depends. You know, you have to. You have to analyze. You have to analyze. For example, your husband. If your husband loves his car, buy him something for the car. If your husband loves sports, mm -hmm. buy something. him something from his team. If your husband enjoys beer, buy him. Or give him a pass here, baby. What's this? It's a pass that you can drink all you want. And the next day I will make you a sopa magi <laughs> with no questions. It's a pass. He's like, really? Imagine un papelito solo escribe here. Happy yes. Valentine's. What is this? Oh, that's a pass for one time only that you can go out. <laughs> I don't know. Imagine this is stupid. Uh, drink <laughs> many beers, come home, and the next day, I will pamper you. Do you know what is pamper you? No. no I don't. I, I imagine. Oh. <laughs> imagine that costs you no money. All you have to do is just make a sopa magi the next day. Or you can buy us a Nintendo Switch for $400. No, okay. No, but I, it says like, I don't know, man. I, I would. If somebody asked me, 
Oh, imagine a new father or a new mother. Oh man, I need Pampers, but I don't know what to buy him because he's allergic and no sé qué. I said, look, I would buy him the brand Pamper Pampers. Remember we're speaking about that, Kalena? Because mm -hmm. in my opinion, the Huggies, I, I, in my opinion, I would buy Pampers because they are more resistant yeah. than okay. Huggies, in my opinion, you know? And then, oh, okay, good. Yes, but I would buy the Pampers. Yes. Imagine, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Es que yo veo aquí de que las vacunas son malas, que el gobierno no quiere controlar, que es un complot mundial. I don't know, man. I should, you know, yo diría, hey, man, <laughs> I see doctors putting vaccines. <laughs> doctors are the first ones to put it. Ellos se lo están poniendo. So I would, I would put the vaccine. I'm not telling you do it. I'm just giving you an advice, like I would. Yes. Okay, class, then um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Have a very good night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B